Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lotro with me, Balfellian. So last time we finished up in Galtrev and we've made our way up into Talmethedras, which is where the Falcon Clan live. Um, so we've we've introduced ourselves. Um, you know, we, we've kind of established that we both hate Saruman. Um, so we're going to try and uh, be friendly to these guys, do some quests for them as part of the epic, um, and hopefully we'll get all this done in, in one session before we head off to another region of Gal, uh, not Galcha. We're going to have a region of Dunland. Um, so we're going to carry on from where we ended up last time then. We'll speak to Penrod. If it took only courage to win battles against wizards, this would be done already. If it took only courage to win battles against wizards, the Falcon clan would have marched south, put Saruman in his place, and be on its way home already. But it is not enough. Tormorva must be made ready. Rus prepares the lever that Taff will fashion into armour. Our Brennan's daughter, Mare, trains youthful fighters in the combat hearts. Idel sees to the gathering of foodstuffs for the journey. All have their work, but still it will be a while before the Falcon Clan can fly to war. With your help, and the help of the rangers, it will go more quickly. So we're going to wander around town now, we're going to uh, help out with the locals. Uh, one of the rangers has already pitched in, he's carrying a, a bit of wood by the looks of it. Or is that a package of some kind? Um, so there's going to be various NPCs we're going to interact with. Um, we have, as you can see here, we have a wrapper quest to complete preparations in turn over at north of 10. So there's going to be 10 quests around the town that we can pick up. Uh, it should be fairly easy to find. Not all of them are inside the town. Some of them will be like um, out around the lake anyway. Um, and actually, yeah, you can see it's actually going to... Because originally this map was never in at, at, uh, at the launch of Isengard, but this has made things quite handy now. Um, but you can see all the locations where the quest givers are going to be. Um, so, speak to Matt. Are there any fighting techniques in the north worth knowing? I think not. Many clans have joined with Saruman Pendulous, and the Hebok Luf may need to face them before it is all over. We need every advantage we can get, and my father de Brennan thinks that you and your ranger friends are just such an advantage. May I assess you shrewdly? I am not so certain. Are there any fighting skills in the north worth knowing? Find some of our most useful fighters and challenge them to combat. That will tell me if my father is right to think highly of your skills. I speak of Yevan, Olwen, or Wundod. If you cannot defeat any of these youths in combat, you have nothing to teach us. So go fight the noobs. Um, so that has immediately uh, meant that one of the noobs is just behind where we started. So we're going to go back and fight Olwen. Um, I am not afraid of you. Mare expects us to fight. I am not afraid of you. I will show you the strength of the Hebok Luf, though I be but a fledgling in the art of combat. I am ready. I am not afraid. Uh, you should be. Because it's probably two hits. Okay, three hits. There we go. I give up. I surrender. So she's run off. And um, we can go back to Mayor and say, yep, yeah, we've, we've beaten your noob. Uh, and now we're going to have a Mortal Kombat fighting ladder where we have to sort of work our way up the harder opponents until uh, we, we satisfy them that, that we are actually a capable fighter. How will you handle one of our more experienced fighters, I wonder? Your defeat of the youth proves little pendulous, but it does prove this. You have some small skill in combat, more than one of our unskilled youths at the least. Mayor studies you appraisingly. How will you handle one of our more experienced fighters, I wonder? Seek out and challenge Saws, Iviona, or Owen here in Tormova. They will be more of a challenge, I trust. So, speak to them. So from here, I think we'll take the high road. Um, just because there's going to be a couple of quest givers up here. And it's easy enough to jump off the cliff from the high road down to the low road. Um, but yeah, it's, just, it's just a loop around the top of the town. Oddly enough, it's not giving me the map anymore. Okay, it briefly took me out of the map. But yeah, this high road just goes all the way around here, loops back around uh, to the entrance here. Um, and we can, e we can either take the uh, the south road back down to the main entrance or the north road. So there's a couple of different ways you can go in this town. Um, but it's not too too big that you get completely lost. Uh, here we go then, Kungan. Of the Falcon Clan. What do you know of the hunt? So this guy's actually going to give us a, a pocket item, and these were actually quite good in the day because they they quite comfortably beat anything that was previously available, really. Um, 
Although that you know, there's some nice crafted ones you can do as well, which are Pendulous has already got, um, which are not too bad in comparison. So what would be his one? That'd be the more for a guardian. So it would be the top one, wouldn't it? So I would gain more might. I would lose vitality, but gain morale. That vitality would give me more morale than that anyway, as well as other bonuses. But I don't get crit rating. So yeah, okay, it's not quite as as good as. Uh, the critted crafted item that I've got in my pocket already, but uh, they're not too bad if you're just doing uh, questing and uh, not crafting yourself some gear. So then, what do you know of the hunt, Pentelus? I have been the greatest hunter of the Hebokluf for many summers, but it was not always so. When I was a boy, I wandered far and wide in search of the greatest prey I could master, but I searched in vain. Finally, I came to a clearing in the trees. Amid the brilliance of a noontime sun, I beheld a mighty figure. He was many times the height of a normal man, and it seemed he wore a great antlered helm. That sounds an awfully lot like a, a chap we've seen in the Ended Wave, and uh, I think he actually showed up briefly in the Bone Bars, didn't he? So, um, the great huntsman. I was beneath his notice. He turned to gaze between the trees, and even as I contemplated the great huntsman, he was gone. I never found that clearing again, though I sought it. I fashioned this charm in his, his shape, out of wood, and every time I go on the hunt, I carry it with me. I give it to you now. Defeat creatures of Talmephedras, and each one will add to the legacy of this charm. Its legend will make me stronger when I bear itself against our enemies. So charge up his little stone, basically, or piece of wood. Um, so going south again, we've got saws. This is one of the people that we could fight to prove to Mayor that we are worthy. Other you fighters are available. Me? Do you think that you can defeat me? I have seen service in war, the Vordiad. I am not a fresh-faced youngling untested by combat. Prepare yourself. Yeah, and I'm an elf that's probably, you know, a few thousand years old. Probably seen a few wars. Um, I will show you how a falcon clan fights. Oh, I will also show you how a Falcon Clan member f runs away from combat after being completely shat on. Uh, so there's Eladan there, one of Elrond's sons. Um, so we're going to mount up again. Carry on down this road. So I think what we'll do, we'll talk to Mare and then we'll head out the northwest gate. Um, so there's Seren. I think that's. No, that wasn't the lady we talked to earlier. That was Caitlin? Uh, Catelyn? Something like that. Another old crone. Um, perhaps you do have things to teach us in the ways of combat. Well, now, perhaps you do have things to teach us in the way of combat. There may I'm be listening. Value in the martial training you can provide for us after all. Yes, there may be value in the martial training you can provide us, Pendulous. I want you to challenge some of our most experienced fighters. Masters in the martial arts, so that they may learn from the skills of the North. Look for Mostun, Gaynor, and Kedit in Tuamorva, and fight with each of them. They will learn your skills. So this time we have to fight all three, not just one of them. Uh, Mare looks thoughtful for a moment. Actually, fight only Mostun and Gaynor. Kenneth has not been seen for some days. I think he might be out on a hunt. Okay, so we have to fight two of these boys. Where have they activated themselves? One is behind us. Oh, he's not behind us, that's the other quest. Okay, so let's just go downstairs then. Um, so what, we can remove the vector quest to the Stark more from our quest logs, we don't need that at the moment. Uh, someone's on the ledge here. Hello, sir. Windfall. Someone has been sneaking around the far shore of the lake at night. I do not like it, Pendulous. Someone has been sneaking around the far shore of the lake under cover of night. It is not one of my people, and I do not think it is one of yours either. I am not as spry as I was when I was young. I cannot track this unwelcome guest, but perhaps you can. Go to the far shore of the lake and look for the footprints of this intruder. That may tell me something I can use. Cleave the avanc while you are there and bring me their jaws. I have an idea. So he wants to kill me to kill the little crocodiles that are going to be there. And I think this is the first time I actually see the avancs in the game. Um, it's basically, it's a reskinned worm for all intents and purposes. Prepare but... yourself. Um, what is there that you can show me that I have not already seen? Well, let us find out. Prepare yourself. Show me what you can do. 
So these ones are signature mobs. They have 14,000 health instead of 3,000 like the people you've been fighting earlier. Um, but really, they shouldn't be too difficult to dispatch. A good battle. I have learned much. Thank you. So there we go. So we're teaching everyone how to fight. Teach them the uh, the ways of the rangers and the northmen. Um, so we're going to head outside here. And we have uh, Rus of the Falcon clan. Tanning is a complex and lengthy process. But so is the business of war. I have heard about you, Pendulous. You are here to help me prepare leather to be used in the making of armour for the Falcon Clan. Rus grins at your nod of assent. Tanning is a complex and lengthy process, but so is the business of war. I began to prepare much of this leather some days ago, but we will need more. On the far side of the lake you will find oxen. I need tough skin from one of them. Make sure it is suitable before you return to me. And he's going to give us a nice little cloak at the end. Um, whether it's made from said leather or not, I don't know. It might just be a bonus item he's going to give us. Um, so from here we're going to head north because there's going to be some quest givers over at this hut. Um, but from what I remember, of these ten quests, I think you can get most of them early on. Like maybe about seven out of the ten, but the other three are gated behind completing some of the others. The clans that have agreed to follow Saruman deserve no mercy. The clans that have agreed to follow Saruman deserve no mercy, Pendulous. Let them fear the talents of the Falcon. My people will show them that Dundon needs no wizard sovereign. This land is for Dunlendings, not the throws of Saruman. Toads frequent the far shore of the lake, at the Aeot, in the middle of the water. Scrape some of the residue from their skin and bring it to me. Handle it carefully. I may be able to put it to use. So this was the first time in the game where they introduced um, these... Um, overtime potions um, so you can do a morale heal over time or an equivalent power heal over time and also these um, pots that you can use in combat to remove any status effects um, bear in mind back in the time when this uh, first came out each class didn't have a skill which removed any status effect um, each class uh, with some exceptions that could remove more than one type um, could only remove one type, so burglars and hunters could remove poisons, um, captains could remove fear, um, minstrels could remove fear from themselves, I think champions could remove wounds, guardians were wounds as well, uh, law masters could remove wound and disease, but I think they had to be traded for it, um, but now every class generally has one skill that removes a status effect, so these are not quite as nice, um, but you know, it's a freebie, so... Um, but they've kind of like retroactively put in all these morale and power pots into the game for, you know, Hobbit presents. Um, as part of the, the boxes you get for, for levelling up, the, you know, the little gift boxes that you can open every, you know, 5-10 levels all the way up to about the Moria starting point. Um, so they're, they're not as, um, as rare these days. Um, so that guy hasn't got a quest for me yet, but he will do later. So, we need to head over the other side of the uh, the lake now, then. Now, there is a guy somewhere with a boat. And he should be able to let me use said boat. I can row you across the lake, if you like. So, to save time, we can take that instead of riding south. Um, although, there's going to be some people we need to speak to around here, anyway. Um, so, what do we need? we need? Do we need toads? We need any toads, don't we? Four toads. Um... So we'll hit a few of these boys. Let's get a few gathered up. Um, there's some footprints we need. Get that. Get that bank. Pull you over as well. Come on. Alright. Start smacking these boys. Um, we'll try and work out what we need. Oh no, one's reset. Okay, so you're close enough. You can be the spare. There we go. Defeated creatures. I need to kill 10 generic creatures of any type anyway as well, in addition to... Uh... Oh, you want to come back now, do you, sir? Okay. There we go. So we've, we've got the toad residue. But the toads will still count towards the kill generic mobs, so that's fine. Uh, we need five crocodiles in total. Right, so we interact with these footprints. That should send us then further around the shore to that quest point. Um, so we'll just gather a few of these guys... Um, might as well grab some toads as well. I mean, to be fair, there is quite a few Avanks. So we could probably just kill the Avanks. Um, 
Come on. Shoot him. Shoot that as well. He should be in range. There we are. Um, Alright, murder these boys. Um, I think we need one more Avenc at the end. Oh, they're burping in my face. That's not nice. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a big, chunkier worm with bigger teeth. Oh, shit! Hello. I wasn't even paying any attention to my rabbit. Do these guys actually hurt? I'll tell you what it is. I'll bet you it's the status. Don't they put a poison on me or something? Let's, let's pay attention this time. Um, well, we killed everything we need to anyway. Something was, uh, yeah, hurting me quite a bit. My gear hasn't been unslotted. I'm just not paying attention. That's my own fault. My bad. Uh, right, so interact with these footprints. The footprints appear to have been made by someone not wearing shoes. Curious. Um, so we still need two Avanks. We've killed ten generic creatures. We'll get these two boys to come here. Um, let's pay attention to, to our morale bars. Is it them just doing straight up damage or do they apply... It's probably that, isn't it? Um, oh, the stun doesn't help as well. Actually, no, that's not too bad a damage effect. Maybe it stacks up or something, I don't know. Oh, hello. <laughs> that AOE was wide enough, it hit the toad. I have a long reach. Um, no, it's nothing too bad. 82 every three seconds. It does stack. Maybe I had a load of them stacked and just had a load of mobs hitting me. That it was a problem. Don't know. Um, right, so now we can mount up, we can ignore these. Um, just run past these. We need to recover a large hide from an ox. So the oxes are going to be more to the south, um, which is this big green area. Um, here's one. This will do. Uh, I don't know if every ox will drop one. You might have to kill a couple of oxes to uh, to get the what the drop you need. I should probably pay attention just in case there's any quest drops as well. Um, no. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to kill a couple of these until we find one that's gonna drop the tough hide. Uh, no, you're not gonna drop it either. Oh no! Oh no, he has dropped it. Okay. Well, maybe there's no um, no actual drop. It just uh, advanced the quest. Um, right. What else did we need around here? Do we need anything? No. Back around the other side. Okay. We'll take the boat then. No, we won't take the boat, because I think there's probably a quest giver on the south side of the lake. Um, so let's manually ride back around. Because um, isn't isn't that that dead ox over there meant to be one of the quests? Um, but yeah, I think there's a quest giver literally on the south side of the lake, just over there. There's also a couple of places you can ride the boats back. Um, so we can, ride, we can ride from here back to town. I think we got dropped off over there, so uh, there's various places you can get back into town. Just to save you a bit of time. It's not going to be like uh, Lake Everswim. Um, so coming around here, was it somewhere by the rock? This might be one of the later quests that I can't actually action yet, but I'm sure there's someone that will appear by this rock that I can speak to at some point. Um, another guy with a boat. But he, he's going to send me back over to the west side which is not particularly helpful right now um, there is going to be a new quest that I don't think we've picked up up this southern entrance into town so let's go this way um, and we still need to challenge Moston to combat I think he's one of the guys that's going to be in this part of town so then there's Moston I doubt there is anything in the north we have not seen in Dunman let us see what you can teach me about combat, Pendulous. I doubt there is anything in the north that we have not seen in Dunland. It is time. Time for you to die. So we're going to teach him a lesson. Teach him some special moves. Uh, and show him that we are the far superior opponent. Thank you for the training. It was very instructive. Um, so we've done that. We've got a guy hiding behind the gate who's going to give me a quest, Evan. I will not lead you false, 
For my part, there are three too many elves in Tulmorba. So this quest is, is quite interesting. Um, this reward that you will get will vary depending on your character's race. Um, now, I'm not too sure what happens for Bjornings and High Elves. Um, because I don't think either of my... I don't know, my, I think my Bjorning must have done this. Maybe, maybe he got the same as the man, maybe the elf get, High Elf gets the same as the regular elf. Rather than adding new items. Um, but these are quite interesting because they have a activatable effect on them which will give you a bonus um, now I can't remember what all the bonus is for so this elf one 20 fate 100 power 20 non combat morale regen is not particularly great um, I think the man one gives you plus 2% incoming heal rating which is very nice um, bearing in mind it's an effect that will last for one hour and then go on cooldown for 12 hours so it's very nice to pop in, in a, a difficult instance, or if you're doing a raid. Um, so if you're on a main character, having a 2% heal is, is ridiculous. Um, but I'm not sure what the bonuses are for, for the other races. Um, I don't think they're going to be anywhere near as good as the man bonus. But uh, you might want to keep hold of this book anyway. Um, because it's, it's, it's still nice to, to activate the effect. Um, not many elves pass through Dunland, Pendulous. I will not lead you false. For my part, there are three too many elves in Tuomorva right now. So he's speaking of me and, and Elrond's two sons. Evan studies you closely, seeking a reaction of some kind. <laughs> That's his casual racism. I know what you think of my folk. You call us short-lived. Cursed to a hard life in the hard lands. While you enjoy many lifetimes of pleasure. But what do you know of us? What do you know of the history of my people? Ask those other elves that came with you what they know of Dundant. I want to hear what they say. So, I don't know where the other um, son of Elrond is, but we know where one of them is. He's right up the top of town. Um, so, over here we have uh, Adele of, of the Falcon Clan. He's going to give us a, a to quest to wander through town. Uh, it is my task to prepare food for the warriors when they must travel south to fight the hostile clans. Apples, hazelnuts, elderberries, and smoked meats. Some of your friends are picking apples at the orchards of Tormorva. Go there and bring a basket of apples, and I will wrap them up. The orchard is to the northwest. So the orchard's basically just uh, over on the very northwest, um, down near the bottom of the lake. So we'll have to go down there. We'll have to do a, uh, a pick up and deliver the item quest, which means uh, we'll have to run all the way up the top of the hill, which would be slightly problematic, but. It's not too bad. Um, so coming back up here then, um, we should have some hand-ins to the north, so let's go this way first. So we can now speak to Mare and told her we've, we've fought her two champions, but the third one's disappeared. Thank you for sparring with Mostun and Gynor. Let Saruman tremble. Thank you for sparring with Mostun and Gynor, Pendulous. I have heard that they are both a chatter, with excitement about your northern fighting skills. They will refine those arts, and perhaps become even more deadly than before. You have already been a great help to the Falcon Clan. Let Saruman tremble. So we're going to have three types of swords. So cosmetically, I mean, that's, that's a nice, clean, but fairly plain sword, if you're just like, trying to roleplay with a, you know, nothing fancy medieval type sword. Um, and the third one is an elf sword. It's not quite the same as my normal one, um, but you get, it, get those nice like S-shaped curved elven blades, um, which I quite like, so I've got them on my elf. It suits him. Um, so yeah, we'll take that one then. Or you can take a, a, a item XP rune, 67,000, which is not too bad, but I'd rather have the, the cosmetic if I were you. Um, I don't know why I've just got off my horse. Um, so we're going to go left here because there's going to be hand in to the guy on the cliff side. So he's the guy who wanted the Avanc jaws. That was fast. Did you find any sign of the intruder? Winfor listens as you describe the footprints you found on the far shore of the lake. He nods. Those sound like women's feet, Pendulous. Some woman is creeping around in the dark and she does not want to be found. If she is not one of ours, and she is not one of yours, then she is an enemy. Hand me those Avag jaws. I'll take this string and stretch it here and here. Winfor works for a moment, then is satisfied. 
I this will do. See, I have made this of this avant jaw a trap. It will snap shut on the leg of its unsuspecting prey, and this intruder will find it much more difficult to evade capture. Let me make a few more, and uh, alright, I give you these three traps. Set them in the vicinity of those footprints you found, and we will see if this unwelcome intruder strays into our trap. Use up the bundle of traps, then return to me. So I accept that quest. And I think that's probably about a good stopping point for now then, so uh, next time we'll carry on with the remainder of the quests in Tower of Address. But until then, see you guys next time.